So I thought we'd do something different this week. You know, I get a lot of questions in email and comments and on Facebook, and people are asking me about myself and my background. And if you watch all the way to the end of this video, I've got a gift for everyone who's thought about becoming a member here on MC Rider, but they haven't pulled that trigger yet. So make sure you watch till the end if that's you. You know, I thought we'd do some random questions this week to help you get a little better understanding of who I am, what makes me tick here at MC Rider. But first, here's some quick hit information. My name's Kevin. I live in Fort Worth, Texas, and I've been married to my beautiful wife for 31 years now. We've got two high school age daughters. We've got two dogs, one cat, one bird, one rabbit, and I think five chickens that provide the eggs for me that I often eat in the morning. I graduated from high school in 1983. I enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1985, and I graduated college in 1989. So what I thought I would be doing for a career my entire life was I invested about seven years of my life in academics to serve as a chaplain in the U.S. Army. An eye injury ended that. We'll do more on that eye injury here in a minute. And that ended my Army career. But while I was in the Army, I trained in the, as a soldier in a field artillery unit. I got my commission as a lieutenant in the military police corps with that goal of eventually uh, becoming a chaplain in the U.S. Army, and I was planning on serving 20 years, I thought, or more as a chaplain in the U.S. Army. But I often get questions about this eye because when I sit down here in front of the camera, it stays dilated and my other one contracts the way it's supposed to, but I'm not totally blind in that eye. I've got a huge blind spot in it, so if I close this eye, the camera and everything that I'm looking here kind of just goes away. I still have some peripheral vision, though that eye doesn't focus the way it's supposed to. So I can see my hand over here, but if I move it, you know, right in the center, that hand just kind of disappears and goes away. All this was a result of getting hit with a 90 mile per hour fastball back in my baseball playing years. And that kind of ended my military career as well. That blind spot doesn't affect me a whole lot when I'm riding a motorcycle, but if someone tosses something to me, you know, it's as likely to hit me in the shoulder as it is to hit me in the hands, especially if it's something small and it gets in that blind spot as it's coming towards me, and it just plays tricks on my mind, and my mind totally loses track of where it is in space, and man, it's as likely to hit me in the chest as it would be to hit me in the hands, so I have a really hard time catching small items if they're tossed to me. So I often get comments from people saying, hey, thanks to all the crew at MC Rider or thanks to everybody at MC Rider. I see that message quite a bit, but the truth is that if you like the writing or the editing or the on-screen time or all of the other work that goes into the marketing and production of MC Rider, you can just say thanks to me because I work alone and whether you like it or not, I'm the one that's responsible for it. This place where I shoot is right next to my house, and that's where I spend the bulk of my waking hours. So this is the front of the MC Rider garage. This is the back, so this is where I normally enter in. I come out the back door of my house, and I walk through this door. And this is a view of the mess that you rarely get to see on camera that's all this stuff back behind me right now. I have a bachelor's degree in Christian ministry and military science. Yeah, it's kind of a weird mix, isn't it? Christian ministry and military science. I am one class and two hours short of having my master's degree, but I gave up that pursuit when my military career was over with the eye injury. Now, a normal reaction from a lot of people when they learn that I was this close to having my master's degree is why didn't I just finish it? Well, for me, the degree was a hurdle that I had to get over to do what I wanted to do, which was to serve in the U.S. Army, continue my career in the Army. And when that goal of continuing my career was over, that degree meant nothing to me, to be totally honest, so I never finished the degree. So here's something that I've been thinking about lately. You know, you can gain knowledge from going to school and reading books, and there's nothing wrong with that. But knowledge pales in comparison with wisdom. You know, knowledge comes from books and learning, but wisdom comes from God. 
Knowledge is totally separated from wisdom and can lead the learner down all kinds of foolish paths if wisdom is ignored and knowledge is your only goal. So my advice in coming from this old chaplain, seek wisdom in life and understand that wisdom comes from knowing God. See, you can take the guy out of the chaplaincy, but you can't necessarily take the chaplain out of the guy. Now, my hobbies, aside from riding motorcycles or NFL football, I like MotoGP. I like going to the gun range. And most recently, I've been working with leather, and I've really been enjoying that. So I've been working on stuff. Let me get the camera switched over here. So I've been working developing these leather patches. That's what you see on the hat I'm wearing right now. So in addition to the patches for the hats, I've been doing keychains. And you can see my work here on this keychain. Let me get that flipped over for you. So I'm going to have these soon for sale on the MC Rider store. So look for a store soon where you can buy handmade original products made right here in the MC Rider garage, made by me here in Texas. And I'll have a store open soon where I get, once I get a few of these products made, and get a few things ready for you guys i'll get them out there but it'll be a unique opportunity to buy something handmade by me from texas made here in the u.s right here in the mc rider garage and i think you guys will really like these you know i've been carrying one now for the last few weeks just to see how i like it and you start wearing them all the time on these hats like this so we'll give you guys an opportunity in the near future to be able to get one for yourself so my favorite movie is Forrest Gump. My favorite TV show outside of watching football and MotoGP is Survivor. You know, back to football, I've been an L.A. Rams fan my entire life. We lived in California when I was a kid in the early 70s, and I started watching the Rams then. So I've been watching the Rams just about my entire life. So it's been a big year for me with the Rams winning the Super Bowl this year. You know, when it comes to ways I've paid my way through life, I've done a lot of different things to earn money. Some of the variety of ways that I've earned money are I've been a soldier in the U.S. Army. I spent one summer chopping cotton. I've roofed houses for a living. I've sold clothes in department stores. I bagged groceries, cleaned bathrooms, washed dishes, stocked shelves in a grocery store. I worked with troubled youth. I worked with people with multiple personality disorder on a locked psych facility. I was a youth advocate in juvenile detention court systems, and I was a web developer in a dot-com startup, a mortgage company, and a major airline. I've been the lead photographer for multiple sporting events, and I even had a weekend gig shooting photos at a belly dance competition. Yeah, that was right. That was me right next to the stage below this gigantic speaker that was just pounding for hours, and I was shooting photos of people that weren't, but maybe should have been a little more self-conscious about how they looked up there on stage. But to be honest, the best job I've ever had is being the founder and host of Right Here on MC Writer. I started MC Rider in October of 2016, and for the last several years, it's been my full-time job. And tied with my time in the Army, this is the most rewarding job that I've ever had. So I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thank you to all the people who support MC Rider with the membership at mcrider.com slash member. It's because of you that I finally decided that this is what I want to be when I officially grow up. You know, May's Motorcycle Awareness Month, and I truly believe that MC Rider has made hundreds, if not thousands, of you better riders. But there's always room for one more. So in celebration of May, I want to provide a coupon code of $5 off for your membership to MC Rider. You can use the promo code MCMAY. You'll get $5 off your membership for the entire month of May. And this is the first time I've ever provided a coupon like this. So if you're watching this, I hope you'll take advantage of it and commit to making yourself a better writer and joining us on the forums. Now you've got nothing to lose because I'm footing the bill for your first month of membership if you want to join. So 
MC May, for the month of May, will get you $5 off a of membership. You can also, you know, upgrade your membership and get ad-free videos or even pay annually. And you can still use that MC May discount code for a $5 off your membership plan for whichever one you choose. More details at mcrider.com slash member. So I hope you'll take advantage of that. Thanks for watching as usual. This is Kim with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.